Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to convert repeating decimals to fractions without using a calculator or a computer. If you're interested in learning how to do this, please keep on watching. Before I show you how to convert the repeating decimals to fractions, you need to understand the geometric series. If you are familiar to the geometric series, feel free to skip the first part. Then I will show you how to use the geometric series to convert the repeating decimals to fractions and followed by summary. The geometric series start with an initial number, A, followed by the successive terms with the constant ratio between the successive terms as R. So we have a plus ar plus ar square and so on. The simple example is that we have initial number 2 followed by 4, 8, and 16 and so on. In other words, we have 2, 2 square, 2 cube, and 2 power 4 and etc. The question comes how to quickly calculate the sum of such a series of numbers. If you have time and are willing to throw on the numbers in the calculator, you can punch in the numbers to calculate the sum. However, we can derive the formula. Let's say we have Sn for the sum of the first n terms. So Sn is a plus ar plus all the way up to a times r power of n minus 1. To come up with the formula Sn, we can multiply by r for both left and the right hand side. Thus we have r sn equals ar plus ar power of 2 plus all the way up to a times r power of n. The next step is to subtract the second equation from the first equation. So we have 1 minus r sn equals a minus a times r power of n or sn equals a 1 minus r power of n over 1 minus r. To utilize such a formula for converting repeating decimals to fractions, we'll need to come up with the formula for the sum of the infinite series. When the absolute of r is less than 1, for the infinite series, the sum of the infinite series becomes s a over 1 minus r, since the a power of n becomes 0 in the above equation. Let's quickly solve the following example. We have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8, and etc. To calculate the sum of the infinite geometric series, we need to identify the first term. In this case, it is a equals 1, and the ratio between the successive terms r equals 1 over 2. Thus, the sum of the infinite geometric series is 1 over 1 minus 1 half equals 2. We have 0 0.333 and etc. This is a repeating decimal when you type 1 over 3 in the calculator. The repeating decimal can be rewritten as the sum of geometric series using the sum of the multiple decimals or multiple fractions. Thus, 0 0.333 becomes 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus etc. Or 3 over 10 plus 3 over 100 plus 3 over 1000 and etc. Now you can use the first term 3 over 10 and the ratio 1 over 10 between two successive terms to calculate the sum of infinite geometric series. When you use the formula, you can have 3 over 10 over 1 minus 1 over 10 to come up with 1 third, which is what you expect. What about 0 0.121212 and etc. The given repeating decimal can be equivalent to the sum of the multiple decimals or multiple fraction which is the sum of the infinite geometric series. Thus 0 
etc. becomes 0 0.12 plus 0 0.0012 plus etc. Or 12 over 100 plus 12 over 10,000 and etc. Now you can use the first term 12 over 100 and the ratio 1 over 100 between two successive terms to calculate the sum of the infinite geometric series. When you use a formula, you can have 12 over 100 over 1 minus 1 over 100 to come up with 12 over 99. You can also confirm in the calculator by typing 12 over 99 becomes 0 0.121212 and etc. Let's work on a little bit more complicated decimal. 0 0.35, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, and etc. The given decimal can be broken into two parts. The first one is the non-repeating part, which is 0 0.35, and the second part is the repeating part, which is 0.00123 plus 0 0.00000123 plus etc. Thus, the decimal becomes 0 0.35 plus 0 0.00123 plus 0 0.00000123 plus and etc. Or 35 over 100 plus 1 to 3 over 100,000 plus 1 to 3 over 10 power of 9 plus and etc. Now you can add 35 over 100 to the infinite geometric series of the first term of 1 to 3 over 100,000 and the ratio between two successive terms of 1 over 1,000. Now you can add 35 over 100 to the infinite geometric series of the first term of 123 over 100,000 and the ratio between two successive terms of 1 over 1,000. When you add these two terms, you can come up with 35,088 over 99,900. You can also check in the calculator. For example, in the Google calculator, you can see what you start with, which is 0 0.35, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, and 1 to 3, and etc. Hope this tutorial video is useful for you and I will see you in the next video.